Namaste! Grand Rising, Big Cat. Welcome or welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555. For your message, all messages. Come in! Come on! I've got intel. Recon is afoot. The planetary energies are. The Skullduggerous Moon is in Cancer, trine in, Neptune in Pisces, and we love a trine. It's fabulous, gorgeous, and lovely, darling dears. It's an opportunity which is opening for you. Why? Harmony must be created. The, the scales of balance must be righted in the universe, darling dear. Why? Because comfort zone is kryptonite to a big cat. Pwah! Mm -hmm. With... With the Cancer Moon trying in Neptune in Pisces, focus on your creative projects or hobbies, darling dears. Why? They will pay off on the back end, darling dear. The more you put in, the more you will get out. Your intuition will reveal a hidden enemy or enemies to you today. Mm -hmm. You will be feeling lighter as a karmic debt is marked, paid in full on Keitha. Love it. I don't hate it. Let's, can we talk, can we have a quick chat, big cat? Peter 4.10 tells you to what? Use whatever gift you've received, right? To, to serve others. 144 on the counter. Not, not everyone comes into their, their gifts easily. Some of you have to be cut to the white meat to realize how bad of a cat you really are. The biggest and baddest of them all. For you to realize that you are the prototype of your lineage. Mm -hmm. You have to know the difference between a talent and a gift. A talent will provide you with a wonderful career if utilized to the full. But a gift... Hey, <laughs> a gift is your calling. It's what you was made for, what you was made to do, darling dears. To find your gift, you have to ask self. It's about going within, darling dear, getting a hold of your birth natal chart, understanding your north node, right? And looking at your south node, the things that you have to, have to overcome in order to what? Come into the true you, darling dears. You and many people will always judge, judge you on the outside. Because when you stand up in whom you truly are, darling, there's many that knew you from yesteryear will be big mad because it's you, darling, dear, because they wanted to compartmentalize you and put you in the box of a thumber, a people pleaser, less than them, darling, dear. You was all right until you started to do better by utilizing your gifts. Mm -hmm. A prime example of someone being judged by their outer self is is um Susan Boyle. Do you remember on Britain's Got Talent in 2009? Everybody ridiculed her appearance when she got on stage. They was all having a laugh. 333 three, three on the counter. Until she opened her mouth and started to sing. Never judge a gift by its packaging, darling dear. Remember I told you that? Fizz bump. Let's dive in, darling dears, and get a runestone for Siwa Guan. See what's coming towards you. Who or what is coming towards you? Oh, you've got a duo. Love it. Don't hate it. Oh, knowledge, darling dears. This is Kanaz, represented by the hermit in tarot, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Knowledge is power. Power is knowledge, darling dears. It speaks about what? A challenge. A challenge. Maybe you're being presented with a challenge at this moment in time, but it's about reinforcements being on its way, represented by the letters K, I, and C. It also speaks about what? An older partner or an older person is about to what? enlighten you to something a piece of intel darling dear which is going to what spark a new beginning for you for others you will unmask 
this enemy, I told you the planetary energies, is highlighting all of this she's naive, darling dears. Mm -hmm. It also speaks about you standing out for being different. Nothing wrong with that, darling dear. Who wants to be a part of the crowd? A sheep, a feeble-minded simpleton. Mm -hmm. Not I, says the big cat. It also speaks about the spiritual guidance and protection you are receiving at this moment in time. Love it. Can, as, as I said, K-I-C, the numbers 36, 37, 38, and 39. Wow. You also have Perthro, darling dears. Who's that? The High Priestess. Mm -hmm. Haven't seen this rule in a month of Sundays, darling dears. Represented by the letter P, the numbers 8, 9, 10, and 11. Some of your spiritual gifts, you, we are all psychic, darling dear, but you are utilizing your gifts until the wheels fall off. This is like a coming out party for you. Why? A karmic debt has been paid in full, darling dear. Yes, you may have what been showing just a little bit of your gift, but now you've got nothing holding you back, having paid off your own karmic debt, as well as your ancestral karmic debt, darling dear. The moon, this is the high priestess who's ruled by the moon. The moon is the mother energy, darling dears. Mm -hmm. The moon also speaks about your emotional nature being on balance, darling dears. It speaks about your instincts, listening to your intuition, as well as memory. Somebody's in their feelings. They're living on the memories of whom you used to be. Yes, the year. Mm -hmm. The moon also controls your what your habits. I just, I just, I just reiterated to you, darling dear that the planetary energies with the moon in Cancer, trying in Neptune in Pisces is, is pushing you, prodding you to focus on your creative projects and hobbies. The moon is, the moon rules are the numbers seven as well as two and Monday, which is very important to someone. Mm -hmm. It also covers the reproductive organs, the breast, the digestive system, the right eye and the right arm. Somebody may have been feeling some issue around those areas, darling dears. It's about, oh, what a cleansing. You was going, because we've been having a lot of soul, solar flares, darling dears. You was having a bodily cleansing, as well as a mental and spiritual cleansing. I told you, a karmic debt, you've paid it in full, darling dear. Bravo, big cat. Your majesty. Mmm, love it. I don't hate it. The High Priestess also speaks about you being a mystery. Many are seeing you as a mystery. Some of you are going to be going into a position of being a trusted confidant. You could be a counsellor, some, some form of advisory role, or you're seen as that way in the position that you find yourself in. Mm -hmm. It also speaks about someone keeping secrets around you. As I said, a hidden enemy is about to be revealed to you, darling dears. Yes, it is. Let's carry on at a hot trot. What did your ancestors have to say about this? I'm going to use the African Goddess Rising and the Soul Cards, darling dears. Give it a quick shofty. Messages for my big cats as they step into a new version of themselves, utilizing their gifts. What's being shown to us? I'm going to take the top one of this. It's what? Resistance. You put up a resistance, darling dear, and you're working it out. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing lots of arms. There are many hands that try to play a part in what? Killing your vibe, darling dear. I'm not wanting you to make it. I'm feeling that energy. It also speaks about what? The 22. Uh, um, the 22 speaks about you being diplomatic, darling. You as a peacemaker, but it also speaks about you um, creating healthy boundaries around yourself. You are also about to receive a, a divinely guided relationship, a friendship. It could also be a partner. We saw the energy of the hermit plus the high priestess. This is a spiritual connection. Somebody who's on your wavelength, darling. Yeah. Mm. Face of the deck, we've got you've got the badass alchemist waste, darling dears. As above, so below, able to co-create exactly what you want to, darling dear. Holding the ank, the breath of life, love it. I don't hate it. The ank also represents the male, the masculine, and the feminine energy. Mm -hmm. It's about your you you being resourceful at this moment in time. 
using your intellect to direct, direct your intentions. This also speaks about, um, I'm, I just heard a quick thinking thief. Be very careful of those because the, the um, magician also speaks about alchemy, darling, as well as what? Um, a con person, a hoodwinker, manipulation, darling, dear. Someone is going to try and manipulate you into what? Doing something that you don't want to do. Remember, you've already paid off your karmic debt for yourself and your ancestral team. Don't get caught up in someone else's cockalorum, darling, dear. If they're tricky, but you are, you've been forewarned, so be forearmed. We're seeing the sun energy, big cat Leo energy, the fifth house, the house where you're about to take a major risk in your life, darling, dear. But it's about you utilizing your creativities, which is going to buoy you mm -hmm, and push you forward. It's also about what? Dating as well as um, romance and the SEA. Listen, no one's dating during Mercury retrograde, blood, bruh, or sister, we are in the midst of Mercury retrograde in Taurus until the 14th of May. Nope, it's a big no-no, otherwise you'll be sorry. Mm -hmm. A new beginning. Seeing um, somebody standing between two pillars or a doorway, darling, there are new opportunities, but it's about spiritually guided opportunities having raised your vibration. As I said, this karmic debt has been paid in full. Mm. See what else is going on here. Can you use the, the soul oracle deck? Intel for the big cat. Thank you. Oh, surrender. It's about you surrendering to the process, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Surrender also is represented in numerology by the number nine. Surrendering has brought fruition and it's also about you attaining something, feeling more fulfilled. Number nine is a highly spiritual number, darling dears, because it represents completion as well as universal love, being blessed by the universe. Mm -hmm. The number nine is ruled by Pluto as well as Mars energy, darling dears. Pluto is about your evolution and a full transformation coming your way. Mm -hmm. The Mars is about you taking actions towards your desires. Mm -hmm. Being, being self-assertive and initiating a new beginning for yourself. I told you, use your what you've got, darling dear, and you will find your gifts according to your North Node, where your superpowers are hidden on your birth natal chart. It says, I can release my need to control. Let go of what doesn't serve you, darling dears. Just like when you're manifesting. You can't think about it all the time. You you put together all of the emotion of manifesting it, right? You write it down, keep it on a post-it note, but and then let it go. Get on with your day, your life. Why? Because failure, darling dears, is only what? A certain way of understanding that you can't do it that way. Yes. Look, who was it? Edison that said he found 10,000 ways to fail at making the light bulb? Yeah. But it wasn't, it was 10,000 ways in order to not, for it not to work, darling dear. For you to find the, the, the one way that it does, darling dear. Failure is a lesson, a lesson learned. I understand that a mistake is an opportunity to learn. Bebe, can't make it up. Mm -hmm. learning new things seeing a lot of orange as well as um the red the orange is the sacral chakra the sacral chakra is about you tapping into your creativities it's represented by tuesday that's a message for someone the sacral chakra is also ruled by um venus venus who rules taurus as well as libra and archangel Han 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 you can call him call him at any time it's about your self-worth, darling dears, your emotions and your relationships. A new relationship is coming through to you. Why? You're no longer putting up a resistance. Look, you're seeing resistance and surrender, darling dears. Giving it to the God. No longer fighting for situations to work out in your favour, darling dears. You set out your intent, right, with the what? Alchemy. And you let it go. On the base of the deck, we've got health. I will honour the physical vessel that enshrines my soul you better get your your exercises on darling dear divine wants you to what the body has to be right and tight 
Right and tight, darling dear. Steady body, steady mind. Making healthier choices with your energies, your food intake, and as well as your time, darling dears. Hobbies are also a way. Your hobbies and and your, your creative projects is also a way of relaxing, darling dear. Because you are going outside yourself. You're thinking outside of the box, which is infinite. Mm -hmm. But this is drawing my eye. The Hermit and the High Priestess. Many of you have been isolated for some time, darling dears. But this is your, it's almost like you're coming out. But when you come out, you are coming out kicking like Jackie Chan, drawing in the right frequencies because you are vibrating on that frequency, calling in what you truly deserve. Mm -hmm. Let's get a domino. have the two and the four that this goes to the energy of a six the numerology of the six darling is about being responsible creating balance in your life it also speaks about um being extremely nurturing as well as community orientated i told you once you discover your gift darling yes as we said in peter 4 10 use whatever gift you have to serve others and that's where you will get the most the most return on your efforts and abilities, darling dears. What you put out there, you will get back tenfold, a hundredfold, a thousandfold. Mm -hmm. The energy of the six is also the Gemini, the lover's card in tarot, darling dears. It speaks about making the right contracts, calling in like-minded soul partners, darling dears, whether platonic or romantical. Mm -hmm. It's about making a major choice, making the right choice for you. Somebody's about to make a major decision today, darling dears. It may also involve um, taking a short trip in order to make this major decision. For others, it's about the decision of starting a family. And yet again, somebody will also be receiving some kind of invitation, a date. An impromptu date, darling dear. But as I said, no one's going into a full-blown relationship during Mercury Rich. Well, you can do what you like. You've got free will, mate. But I'll see you on the back end, yeah? If that's what you choose. Listen, it's not a good time. Mm -hmm. The energy of the two is, the, again, high priestess energy. Moon energy, mother energy, your intuition, your instincts, your relationships, your emotions. We've also got the four with Mars and Aries energy, emperor energy, claiming dominion of yourself. The emperor could also represent a future husband or wife because you know gender is fluid in tarot. But it's about making the right decisions. The emperor doesn't ask um, um, the, the, the court, right, the royal court or those outside the perimeter, their opinion on what their next move, their best move should be. The emperor makes an informed decision having gathered all of the intel. Mm -hmm. It also speaks about um, entrepreneurship. Somebody's going to be making a decision about entrepreneurship. Maybe that is what is going to be tied to this short journey that's going to be taken today. It's also speaking about being fearless at this moment in time as new wisdom is being gifted to you. The emperor energy also speaks about good news or big news being what delivered unto you today. This is another message for someone. The energy of the two four darling dears, it speaks about a loss. You've got... I told you there's a con person right around, a hoodwinker, a cut purse, somebody that's going to what steal something from you, darling dears. This is a this is what the heads up to be vigilant. You've got what someone with the T Rex arms and trippy talk away is a light fingered bandit. Mm -hmm. Be very careful of your your things, your possessions. Right, let's get a deck. I'm gonna use the. Black on gold tarot deck, base of the deck, Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups can be Shady Bogaby. It also speaks about an offer, but it's not going to be an offer that you're going to want to take up. Knight of Cups is someone who brings the cup around the world and I, I, I could possibly be even a merchant of slander, darling dears. Mm -hmm. But it also speaks about a first date, a first, love at first sight, someone who's going to be extremely charming. Remember, we are in Mercury retrograde and there is a hoodwink of a foot, darling dear. People that know how to read a room and understand who's got it and who hasn't. Be very careful. Nine of Cups energy. Mm -hmm. 
These parts are very slippery as people can have been known to be from since the beginning of time, darling. They are presenting one face when the other one, their true one, is of the little fingers, oh, darling. They're the hidden hand that's ruining everybody's lives. A full-on Lord Voldemort. What's going on with these cards? They're so hard to pick up. Look, you saw me try to shuffle them in. Listen, people that you're not speaking to, you're being discussed, darling. The Knight of Cups could be what? Skullduggerous energy. Tell us what's going on at this moment, please. To the big cat. Mm. Yeah. Having moved on from an emotional situation, you are no longer feeling guilty. I told you a karmic debt has been paid. Somebody was feeling a bit guilty about leaving certain people behind. But he gave you what? The Ten of Pentacles, having broken a generational curse. I told you a karmic debt has been paid in full from someone in the past. Someone who is having nostalgia at this moment in time could be to do with progeny, around your progeny, if you have them. But it's also this person or people are feeling the nostalgia. Why? Because they see the opportunities that you are now creating for yourself. This person or people is extremely toxic to you, darling dear. This was what? Old blowtorch themselves personified. This one won't come off the table. Let's see what it is. Yeah. Somebody's very upset because of the victory and success you've brought into your life. Clarify that again. You went from rags to riches. This is about being what? Out in the spiritual wilderness or somebody wanted to leave you out. And it also speaks about owing you money. Somebody owed you money, darling dears. Listen, sometimes I've always told you, my dear big cat, my bestie, right? Sometimes you may be called to, to lend money because this person may be, even be a professional borrower, always borrowing, but doesn't remember the back on the borrowing. What's that back to you? Sometimes it takes that amount of money to get the person out of your life. They'll be hiding and ducking and diving you forever. If somebody owes you money at this moment in time, darling dear, let it go. Because they can't come back around you because of it. You've got two, two sixes touching each other, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Two sixes speak about what contradiction. This it, Read the energy, big cat. You've done your formal training. You know how to read the room. Pay attention to your intuition as well as your discernment. Because we have the Cancer Moon, Trine in Neptune in Pisces, the 12th house of hidden enemies. We've also got two fives on the tableau, darling dears. Which speaks about what? Personal challenges. Somebody's going for a personal challenge at this moment in time. Devil energy. This person is obsessed and jealous of you. But it also could be the personal challenges of releasing addictive behavior or addictions, darling dears. Moving on. Mm -hmm. Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands could represent um, fickle energy. Somebody who was in and out of your life. It could also represent because the Wands is about taking action, moving towards something quickly. Right? Be very careful, chariot energy. Somebody... Another message for this is somebody is extremely distressed because you've moved on. They, they're still the same person, stuck in the same way. If they've got a vehicle, they can't afford it or it's a piece of shit. Listen, judgment card on its face, darling dear. It's someone that you must not give a second chance to. See the situation from a different perspective. Ten of Pentacles. As I said, it, it's creating the generational wealth. The Ten of Pentacles also represents darling dears. They're moving into a more prosperous situation or prosperous time in your life. Mm -hmm. A more stable situation. Maybe you are about to what? Co-create and generate generational wealth. For others, it's the buying of a home. Another, it's the meeting of what? A wealthy or rich partner, darling dears. But as I said, take your time to get to know this person. Mm -hmm. Six of Cups, base of the deck, darling dear. Because they are the right partner, but we are in Mercury Retrograde, darling dears. This is going to be an impromptu meeting, but they're going to ask you out on a date, darling dear. You can go on the date, but don't commit your genitalia to it, right? This person is going to attempt to sweep you off your feet because, as I said, the meeting of the hermit as well as the high priestess, this is a spiritually guided co commitment that's coming towards you. Mm -hmm. You're going to be all in your head, eight of swords, making a major decision because you've been through a lot of back, front, neck, tabberation, darling dear. Queen of Cups, you're remembering this loyalty that you previously had in your life. King of Cups, 
you've got a king and a queen. Maybe it's the parents or a previous partner. Could also be siblings that are not going to be happy about this union. But these people were disloyal to you, emotionally abusive, just this card. But this card, this union is about to lead to marriage or a long-term situation. You could also speak about a business partnership. This is somebody that's not going to be happy about this meeting. It's going to be like the meeting of fire and ice, style, India. Mm -hmm. Listen, it's a gift from God. This is also the ring-bearing card, the Ace of Pentacles. It could also represent a child. Um, but it's def most definitely new opportunities, a new beginning for you, darling, dear. Mm -hmm. It also speaks about the gift of a fresh start, one one which is focused on stability. For others, it's a change of careers as new offers come through for you. Yeah, a new beginning, King of Pentacles. I told you. Whomsoever you're going towards, darling, dear, this person is financially set. But it also speaks about you. You may even be an entrepreneur. Maybe you're online, darling, dear. But this offer is definitely coming through. Page of Cups, Moon Energy. Pay attention to your intuition. Because you are single as F at this moment in time, darling, dears. Base of the deck. Again, Moon Energy. Yeah, plus the Wheel of Fortune. Listen to your intuition. We've got the Queen of Wands. This speaks about you, what, being a natural born leader, but you are gifted, darling, dear. And it's also about you, what, paying attention to what comes up today and acting on it immediately. This is planning, plotting and strategizing, but moving forward at a hot trot, being inspired as well as motivated. For others, natural born leader, natu and you are a public speaker. Your words carry spiritual weight, darling, dear. This is where you will find your fortune. Some of you need to get out there and become public speakers. Mm -hmm. Again, Queen of Wands, I can't make it up. Face of the deck, darling, dear. Wheel of Fortune, this is where you will find your fate, destiny, and good luck. We also have a card, an extra card that's in this deck. To me, it's like the Temperance card. It's like the Maiden for a new beginning. It's like the Fool's Journey, but you're being the guiding light. Somebody's meant to be a spiritual guru, darling, dears. Listen, the 1111 fade. You need whomsoever this message is for, darling, dears. This is game, set and match. This is about you bringing mutual minds together to celebrate maybe themselves. Maybe you will give them introspection into their what? Inner selves. Be a guide, darling, dear. That guide in light. Helping people get out of a heartbreak, right? Breaking that negative cycle. Yes, I told you. We have a spiritual guru amongst us, darling, dear. This is your coming out. Parte. Love it. Clarify the, the releasing of addictions. But it's also what? It created a lot of obsessive jealousy. When people see you heal, darling, dear, from something that was meant to break you, King of Swords, they are spying big time. This is Five of Swords. People that thought they had all of the swords, they, yeah, they had one, but you had the other four, darling, dear. The other four, the healing, this is about falling back, right? And praying, being wise, darling, dear, but getting spiritual guidance as well as spiritual in, introspection. Mm -hmm. I nearly said imperfection. Somebody's trying to what? Bring up imperfections of you in the past, right? Because you've removed your loyalty. It was slow for you to leave that situation, right? Could have been on the back of a toxic thruple, third party situation, but it's about you celebrating, darling dear. For every tear you cried, you're going to get celebrations and you're about to be lifted up in front of many, darling dear. Temperance energy. People that was impatient with you. And it's also a reminder not to be pay impatient. Everything is on God's time, darling dears. Not your time. Nope. Mm -hmm. Love it. I don't hate it. Let's get another deck to get some more messages up. And then we're out of here to get great, darling dears. To get great. Right. I'm going to use my... Oh, I'm being directed to pick up this deck as well. I haven't used this in ages. Final messages from my big cats as we move towards what? The meeting of our true divinely guided soul tribe or a romantical or platonic partner. Yeah. The DNS, darling dear, the dark night of the soul and your ethics, darling dear. Your ethics is what got you out of it, remembering whom you are. Again, this is about the introspection of it all. And your ethics, oh, don't, don't give up on your ethics for no, no one. Your core values, darling dears, always live by them. Don't lower your standards for no one because it will put you back in the DNS. I had to look over my shoulder, why? Because it's the dark night of the soul. And I'm the red light, green light champion of 79. Base of the deck, darling dear. 
you have loyalty on its way. Loyal, loyalty, which is going to match your loyalty, darling dear. And I told you, you've got a thief or a liar amongst you, darling dear. They're about to be unmasked, or you're going to catch them in the act. Mm -hmm. It's all coming out now, big cat. Good golly and gosh. What else? This flashed up. It says, what? The subterfusion bull swanky of it all, darling dear. What about that? Right? You're about to be gifted with serendipity. 29, 29 on the counter. Face of the deck, darling dear. Research also reminds me of what? The, the hermit. This is about what? Analyzing situations. Taking the time. Mm-hmm. Pinky's up. On that note, I drops me mic. Todd love to my Teesprings. Todd love to my Patreon. Or simply come back here. Or take the hop, skip and jump to my Patreons. I mean, oh, I said patrons already, and I already said it. Good golly and gosh, Mercury Retrograde always messes with my speech. I meant to say to my TikToks, where I also upload videos. And if you want to know what's going on for your rising sign during Mercury Retrograde, please go and watch my um, reading. I believe it's called, at first they gossiped and laughed, and then they took note in silence, where I've given all of the rising signs how Mercury retrograde is going to be affecting you because it's in taurus mm -hmm. and as i always say don't get smoked and don't smoke yourself from the ashes baby namaste be can wave until we meet again on these tarot streets cat cat